The first daytime photo of the launch site of the Russian kamikaze drone Shahed 136-131 since the full-scale Russian invasion has appeared on social media, as Defense Express reports. The value of this image is that it reveals some important details about the organization of the Shahed launch pads. It also helps explain why it is so difficult to destroy these drones at their launch sites. Hunting for the drone depots with Ukrainian long-range missiles may be a promising option. The photo shows that the Shahed's launch tripod is mounted on a small concrete slab about the same size as the drone itself with a wingspan of 2 meters and a fuselage length of 3 meters. This makes the object extremely difficult to hit even with a modern precision weapon. The drone's markings indicate that the Shaheds are delivered to their launch sites already fueled and armed with warheads and that these processes occur off-site. This means that the launch sites do not have significant fuel or ammunition reserves, eliminating the possibility of secondary detonation during strikes. Another problem is that the launch pads for the Shaheds are located only about 200 kilometers from the Ukrainian border. Hunting for drone storage depots is even more challenging since the Russian occupiers disguise these depots among civilian infrastructure, which is reminiscent of the tactics of the terrorist groups Hamas and Hezbollah. September was the first month of the war when Russia launched drones into Ukraine every day. It is noted that in September, the enemy launched 1,339 attack drones into Ukraine. On average, the Russians launched 44 Shaheds daily. The occupiers launched the largest number of attack UAVs on September 14th, 72. Shahed drones are single-use, long-range attack drones or uncrewed aerial vehicles, according to John Hardy, the deputy director of the Foundation for the Defense of Democracies Russia program. It's a type of loitering munition with a built-in warhead that will stay around an area until an operator, often on the ground, picks a target to detonate. There are a few types of Shahed drones being used by Russia in Ukraine, like the Shahed 136 and 131, the earlier models developed by Iran, according to Ukrainian media, citing a government report. The Russians are said to have renamed the drone the Geran-2 for its use in Ukraine, but it's unclear how many they have. Flash floods have affected hundreds of households in South Sudan, the United Nations said Monday, leaving several families without shelter and access to drinking water. In the Jonle state, Bor town, some 375 households were left homeless after heavy rainfall caused flooding in four areas of the state capital. Residents said they had no essentials and complained the government hadn't provided any help. Mapur Kudakui, a community leader in Bor, said the floodwater was contaminated, bringing in malaria, pneumonia and other diseases. There is no medicine in the hospital, only the clinic saves us, but if you don't have money, then you cannot get treated he said. Many children lost their lives, women miscarried, and other elderly, died because of ignorance from the government, he added. You come boy. I chill on me. Piata, Puka, right. Is a baking malaria. We like a dachiro lui. So Pana come did a chilly wall. He like a chip cut of Pana come did. Lekin wall. I live here a bacala water, just can I could not eat in wheat. 
Yeah.